Some of you guys were asking that you want to see what we did for our laundry and one of the things that we came up with that works just easier for us is that each kid has a basket and today we're going to be doing our laundry and putting it away so once they get filled up like this then we take the time to fold them and put them away so i have evelyn's i have the twins I have Declan's, Miles, Hudson, Eli's, and Gage's basket. So we usually keep these in our laundry room here and each child per age gets lined up right here. And then we just like sort our laundry like this. So all our wet towels and stuff go there. And then just the regular clothes. I did have it separated where it was like blacks and one and whites and whites and another, but it just didn't end up working that way. So we just keep it real simple and do three different baskets and that's it. And then we just have a stackable washer and dryer just to fit in this small space. And the only laundry soap that we usually use is just the Tide. I did once in a while get some um, all natural stuff from a place down the road from here that I still wanna pick up, but I'll use that once in a while. But that's pretty much all that I use just because my kids can't have some the other laundry soap, so we just use this. But that's pretty much all we do um, as for doing our laundry and our laundry space we do tuck our towels down underneath here so we have two baskets full of towels and them have to get done today also so that's pretty much our laundry routine nothing real uh special but we try to do laundry every day to keep up and then i have like gage and them guys can um do some of their own laundry too so i don't always do their laundry but um the kids are gonna start doing their laundry today and then um, they'll put their basket back in the laundry room and that's pretty much it. So we'll be showing you guys um, them folding everything and that's about it. And this is what it looks like when my children are folding laundry. Are you getting anything done? I see a pile. Where? You're done already? No. Oh. This is all I had. This, 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 and this. What were you guys doing before you were folding laundry? Yeah, we were tickling. No, no, he was tickling. I was tickling his feet because that's his weakness. You told me. Is where I would put like her blankets and then I have her sheets and stuff in here So I don't really have that folded nicely, but that's just it fits perfect in there So up here I have like sweatshirts and stuff that don't fit in her drawer right now um, Just because they're big and bulky. So that's her shirts and then these are extra pants and stuff that are um, either don't fit her yet or just don't fit in her pants drawer. So I have that in there. Um, so that's just like a little, uh, let's see if I can span that out. Okay, so that's what her dresser looks like. And then this is the one that I put all that in there. In this top when she needs to wear them. So, 
I have that in there for right now. And then this drawer right here is her pajamas. So it's already being picked through. So I'm going to have to go through a lot of this and fold it over and get it um, to where I need it to be so I can put her pajamas in there. And then in this drawer is all her like tank tops and shorts and summer stuff. So I'm gonna go through that again too and make sure that's all in there nicely. Um, but that's where that's gonna go. And if I have to, I can always put her shoes somewhere else if I need another drawer. I could also maybe put her socks and tights in this drawer and not use that little basket. But I'm not gonna organize that right now. This is just what it looks like right now. And then that's the top of her dresser. Um, we tried to do a little bit of uh, Beauty and the Beast theme here. Um, I did have other like tea set stuff that uh, my older daughter let her have and she plays with that right now. But otherwise I had that all set up there. So that's what that looks like. And then um, we have the pants drawer down here, some extra little skirts in here. So this is all kind of like a scattered mess right now. But I, when I go through everything, I take everything out and redo everything and then get rid of things that she doesn't wear anymore. So I'm gonna get started with that and have you guys follow along. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. So if you guys can tell, I made up that much more room by just rolling them up like that. So the rest of her pajamas will fit nicely in here. So let's move on down to the next drawer. Okay, so we're gonna start with her summer stuff. So as long as you can fold that tight on each other, and it depends on if your children are allowed to get their own clothing or not to get dressed on how you want your drawers to look. Um, I'm not picky about them getting their own stuff. So I'm not gonna care that uh, their drawers get all messed up after. It's just more or less like the initial time of getting the stuff in so that's what i uh, focus on mainly is just being able to get everything in the drawer at first and then um i don't really care what it looks like later so it's just more or less organizing now if i wanted to i could have shorts all on one side shirts on another so that uh whoever is getting her dressed or me or my husband gets her dressed then they would be able to um, go from there. So this isn't going to. Here to wrap up this and then we'll move on to the next drawer. I did for this drawer it um, really freed up some space by wrapping it tight like that I am able to still get some more in here but I have to um, look through her clothes yet and see what else I have for summer stuff but for right now this is just what I'm gonna do with this drawer all right so let's move down to the pants bring you guys down here and I'm just gonna pull everything out quick uh, her skirts and stuff like that, I could have maybe added to that drawer with her shorts and stuff, but we'll just keep it in the pants drawer. So I'm going to do the same thing. So what I'm going to do is keep all her skirts on one side 
And that way, if they want to grab a skirt or something like that, um, they know where to grab it. So, unless it's short, so we're going to stick that in there. Um, a lot of times, too, Evelyn will come in her, her go in her drawers, and she'll kind of rearrange everything. So, I'm kind of seeing some shirts in here and some socks that were up here, and I think she wanted to change her clothes. So, we're going to bring this over here real... Get that. All right. Okay, so, we're just going to keep doing this and clean up her drawer and make it look nice. Okay, so if you guys can see that I cleared up this whole section right here, so I have this whole section to add when I fold the rest of her clothes. I have her basket right off to the side here and I'm probably not gonna show you me folding that. I kinda just showed you right now what I do. So that's pretty much what I do with their laundry. So I'm gonna come down here with her shirts. Now you can see with her shirts, it's jam packed. I have so many different things in here and some of it probably doesn't even need to be in here anymore. So what I like to do before I get to her basket is I like to really go through her shirts and stuff and make sure she even needs this anymore or if she's even in this size anymore. And with the temperature changing and stuff like that, um, she might not even need any of this. This might be too warm for her or just a little bit less in size. So like this is an 18 month and she's in um, like a 3T for a shirt and 2T for pants. So I would just take out half of this stuff and get rid of it because um, she isn't gonna wear it anyways. So that's kind of like what I like to do when I do her laundry. Um, I just, by the time I get to her basket and stuff like that, sometimes we're just living out of that and then I don't have time to do her drawer. Um, but this is what I like to do when I do come to her drawers, is I like to just sit down, look at all the sizes, and see what I think she would um, continue to wear. So I'm just gonna go through some of this. Another thing that I like to do is put short sleeve on this side and then long sleeve on this side. So whoever gets her dress is able to pick from that section. Uh, I'm not saying like all my kids get Evelyn dress. I'm just saying it just makes it easier sometimes when we're on the go and I need to go fast and I tell my kids, hey, can you get Evelyn dress for me? Um, they know exactly where her clothes are. So that really helps out instead of um, just having it all like, uh, you know, scrambled all over the place. So I'm gonna continue here and just um, go ahead and fold all this and I'll show you guys what I was able to get all in here and what I decided to keep. that I have all the long sleeve over here and all the short sleeve over here and how much room that made by me just folding it that way. Now I know her clothes are a little bit tiny still so I'm able to kind of squeeze them in there but this is kind of the same system we do with the big kids. I probably won't be showing you the big kids just because they went ahead and just got theirs done um, but I did show you guys uh, Miles and Hudson folding theirs and some of the craziness that goes on uh, before it actually gets in the drawer. So 
that's what they do. I usually don't help them with their laundry anymore because we went, we just recently went through their baskets and their drawers and got rid of things that didn't fit them anymore. So they are able to just kind of fold them up and put them away. If they have anything extra, they kind of just leave it in their basket and then we go from there. So, but this is pretty much this, the system that we do and how we wash our clothes. Um, I still need to finish folding the rest of Evelyn's clothes. Um, but that's pretty much the system that we we do with getting it done. Um, I know a lot of people have different ways of folding their laundry and getting it put away. Some days to do it, some people do it daily. Um, with me having eight kids in the house and my clothes also, um, my husband does his own. He does his in a different washer and dryer just because he is an electrician and we don't want to mix that stuff with our clothes. So he does his on his own and I don't need to do that. Um, but as for the kids, I'm usually the ones that do, or I'm usually the one that does um, Nash and Lachlan's and Evelyn's and Declan's. But with Declan's, I will fold his laundry, but I won't put it away. So his is upstairs and I already showed the boys how I want it placed, what drawer gets what, and they do it for me. So. Um, my kids do get allowance and they do get stuff for helping out. So one of, that's one of the things with um, getting allowance is being able to help me and get that done. So, um, but other than that, that was Evelyn's uh, drawers and some of the things that I do. Okay, so this is Evelyn's basket and I have it just in a little um, a little basket. I do need to get her a bigger one like the boys have just because she has a little bit more clothes um, that are getting to the point where it's not working in this basket anymore. So we need to get her a bigger basket and label it that it's hers. And, um, but... I need to fold this stuff and get this in the drawer. So that's my next step of what I'm gonna do. But I already showed you guys how I folded everything so I won't bore you guys anymore on how I fold my laundry. But that's what I need to do next is fold this up and get it in our drawers. And then kind of go through it also because I'm not sure which ones we're gonna keep or um, get rid of just because of size wise. I did recently buy her some clothes um for her birthday if you guys want go check out that video on all the stuff that she got uh for her birthday and her little wardrobe she got so i kind of got to go through this stuff and get rid of what we're not using but then i will show you nash and lachlan's next okay so we're gonna get started with nash and lachlan's drawer and the top drawer that we have right here are pajamas. So they already went in here and this is usually what it looks like after we fold it and it just needs to be redone. And then this is their shirt drawer. Here is their long sleeve drawer. This is kind of a little bit of a mix have long sleeve and short sleeve so I need to go through that and organize that and then here is pants so overall this drawer is um, done from last time so that looks pretty good with what I have in there that's one thing of pants and then this is the other one so I have to go through this one and fix this one just because some of these aren't even folded or anything like that so that's what that looks like um, over here in this drawer, we have little side drawers. This is their shorts. So I have to go through that also and get that organized. And another thing with Evelyn, here's her underwear and stuff for when we start potty training. Then she can come in here and grab her underwear or I can put these up in that other drawer that I showed you guys before. Um, Nash and Lachlan. Nash and Lachlan have this drawer and this is where their socks go. So socks and underwear go in this drawer. I do have baskets full of socks and underwear that um, we kind of just leave that way until we're finished or until they get piled up, like I said, with the other laundry. Then we sit and we fold everything and we put it away. So this is their um, underwear drawer and sock drawer. So it's a little empty and we need to 
get that filled up and do that. So one of these days I will be doing socks and underwear and then um, we'll put it in this drawer for them. I have a spare dresser upstairs that I use um, for like extra clothes that we can't fit in. So that's upstairs. Maybe I can show you that in a little bit too on um, what's all in that, that dresser. I'm gonna work on this drawer. I do have their basket in here with me right now. So this is their basket and this is what I need to um, fold and get in their drawer also. But like I said before, I like to organize the drawers first and see what I have um, to work with and what I need to get rid of. So I'm not just piling everything back in the drawer when I could actually um, have more room by getting rid of things. So I'm gonna get started and show you guys how I do that. All right, so let's get started with this drawer. I'm just gonna pull everything out that's not folded. So they have a couple things in here that they did not destroy. So I'm gonna fold these and get this in there and then we'll move up to the other drawers. So I have some shirts in here that are a size 3T and they are gonna be five this year. So I think that these shirts are probably a little too small for them. So I'm gonna take them out um, even though the boys are a little tiny still, uh, some of these still won't, they won't fit anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, yeah, a lot of their stuff looks like it's 3T. So we're only going to use, um, or keep what would fit them now. So these are pretty tiny. This is even like this is a 2T, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep that. Uh, this one might fit them. So I got a little mix of long sleeve and short sleeve, so I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff. When we first started, or when Nash and Lachlan were just born, we did a lot of matching with them. And the older that they get, the more that they don't want to match anymore with them being identical twins. Um, they just feel at their age that that's not what they want to do. So I don't require them to dress the same. Only if like we were doing pictures or maybe some kind of like church event for, you know, maybe Easter or Christmas or something like that, then I would probably have them wear something that matches. Um, but otherwise we don't really do that anymore. So a lot of the clothes that they have right now don't really match anymore. I only have maybe like three or four shirts that actually match. Um, and that's just what they want to do. So I always said that no matter what, they're going to dress the same, but, um, I have learned that that's not going to happen. So they want to wear what they want. I had some pants in that drawer, so we're gonna put them in there. And I kind of had them in the drawer. I don't think that they knew that I had them in there. Just because with them being two kids, I have so much clothes for them that I don't really think we need, we need all that. So I'm just gonna go through a lot of this and just see what I can get rid of. Um, these are still a 3T. I'm just gonna keep a handful of them and if they don't fit them anymore, then we're just gonna put them away. So just gonna look over what I have. Um, so between Evelyn and them, they kinda almost are in the same size just because they are so tiny. But um, we did, uh, get some clothes for them so I could probably maybe get them some more shirts that are a little bit more their size um, I know right now online they have a lot of good deals just because of it everything is shut down right now so usually I would go to Kohl's for them 
but um, I've been kind of doing a little bit of children's place lately again. We used to do that with the bigger boys and uh, with me not being able to go to Kohl's and stuff, so I just decided to um, get Evelyn some stuff on children's place. So I can maybe look and see what they have to offer. Um, but yeah, we kind of need to update a little bit on some stuff, so. And we're finally to the stage now too where they're not um, wearing any gauge in Eli's hand-me-downs. So we're kind of past that stage right now. That they have right now is their clothes and a little bit of um, some of the stuff that the other boys had. And that's okay. So all these shirts in here are pretty much their size. So I'm just gonna keep a lot of this in here. So that's all I'm gonna do with that drawer. Um, their pajama drawer here, I'm gonna come on this side now. Their pajama drawer, I just need to straighten up a little bit and then fold their basket and get that in their drawers. I'm not real picky with um, their pajamas if they match um, as in a set. I used to be that way, but the more kids we have, I had to not be so picky about that, especially when they're getting themselves dressed, then it saves me time too. So they kind of just pick out what they want to wear. Okay, so that's all straightened out in there. Now I'm gonna come down here. So this one is completely empty. I would put in maybe some extra pants in here or extra shirts in this drawer um, because I have a feeling once I get done with their basket, I'm gonna have to have another drawer to work with. And this one is the pants drawer that we did before. I'm gonna fold some of these and put them in here. Some of these pants are still a little too big for them. Um, so they kind of just come in and pick and choose what they want to wear and that's okay. And I'm not real like, I mean, I guess I could maybe help out a little bit and turn it the right way, but otherwise I usually don't. I just kind of fold and put it in their drawer. So I just need to... And what I do is I just make piles down here. And I think a lot of people do that too, is just put piles down and then put them away. So get done with their basket. And then I will show you what I was all able to fit in their drawer. A lot of times with their clothes too, they're able to just go in their basket. When we originally um, started having kids, I was able to kind of keep up with as much as I could at that time. So I did, um, I put the stuff away when I could. And what we did is we just had one basket and I kind of had everybody's clothes in one basket and eventually folded it and I put it away. But the more kids I had, the harder it got to do that because everybody was going through baskets, nobody could find anything. So I decided to um, get the bigger size baskets and label them in their name and that works out so much better. The only problem that we have is we have a very tiny laundry room just because of how our place is set up um and when lauren oh, i don't think this is theirs when lauren built the place um it wasn't set up for this many people so he didn't have any knowledge that he was going to have this many kids in his house 
so we have to adapt to what we can do so it just works nice with us having these tall baskets Alright, so I'm just finishing up putting things in there. Sometimes I have to kind of shove it in there a little bit and get it in. Their pajama drawer, I got everything out of their basket and in their drawer. What's that? This is that extra drawer that I had and I that's all stacked with pants. This one is all pants. This one down here, all pants. Let's see if I can get it shut now. Okay. So that's pants. All, oops, all in here is long sleeve. And then up here is all short sleeve. So I just fold them in half, tuck in the um, sleeves and then roll them up. And then it's like double layered in here. So until I get them a dresser upstairs, that's what um, this, is gonna look like for now. And then, um, let's see once here, if I can get it all in there. Oh. Okay. All right, so that is their dresser for now. Um, and then our changing table that we use too. So that's what I do for Nash and Lachlan. And then I will show you the upstairs dresser. This is the upstairs dresser that we have in the hallway. And then um, we have our laundry basket. This is like Nash Lachlan's and Miles and all them. Um, we need to pick up our, our upstairs hallway, so ignore that. But um, this is the dresser that we have for extra. So the boys just put some of their extra stuff in here that they can't fit in their other drawers. And then um, like, extra pants and um, shorts. And then I think Declan at one time was using one of these for underwear and socks, but he must be putting them in his drawer for now. So that's the extra dresser in, the, in there. Um, that's one dresser that we have. And then um, here's the boys dresser that is in Gage and Eli's room so that's their job to put everything in here so maybe if I so they already have some of their stuff folded up and in their drawers and then um, all their socks and stuff are put together okay so this is Declan's dresser up in his room um, he they put some stickers on there. They weren't supposed to put stickers on there, but um, that's his dresser. And then this is the other boy's dresser in this closet right here. That is Miles's dresser. Um, so that's what he's using. But this is our walk-in closet. And right now we are gonna be cleaning this all up and repainting it because this used to be Victoria's walk-in closet. So right now it's a total disaster because we haven't got up here yet to pull all this out of here and then we're gonna re be all like doing this all over. So um, this is gonna be their Lego room eventually. Um, so this is why this looks like this. And that's gonna be like one of our next projects is we're gonna start with this, move on to the other um, part of this bedroom and redo the paint and stuff in this bedroom and this is going to be done over and then we're going to figure out another dresser um for nash and lachlan and then hudson probably so maybe two upright ones um but for right now that's hudson's and then that's miles so everybody has a dresser we have an extra dresser um and that's pretty much what we do there and then we have a back area back there that they can hang up clothes if they want to 
but like I said, that's all going to probably be gone because we're going to redo all of this. So we're going to get different shelving and different uh, clothing system for that. And then they have other games and stuff that we put in here. So it's a nice storage area for toys and extra things that we can storage. Um, but with us being in a garage, we don't really have um, the extra storage. So this is nice for them to have a big walk-in closet. Um, and we're gonna be just uh, doing stuff a little bit nicer in here. So that's just an update on that. All right, so hopefully you guys like this style of video. Um, I know I maybe didn't really offer you guys a lot of like different stuff, um, but for what works for us, that is, you know, what does so um with us having separate baskets and stuff that really helps so that's one of the things that i like about our laundry system i wish that we could keep up with it a little bit more as in getting it done on a more regular basis but for right now this is just what works once the baskets get piled up then we sit down and we fold them and put them away so Hopefully you guys liked it and um, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.